Highlights from the Secondary School Girls Football League Signal Hill Secondary versus Trinity East. Signal Hill Secondary made a triumphant return to the Secondary School's Football League Premier Division yesterday with a 3 2 victory over Trinity College East in Trin City. Having last played in the SSFL's top flight in 2017, Signal Hill secured their spot in this year's Premier Division after winning the Tobago Championship Zone last year and earning promotion as one of three teams through the Big Five playoffs. Forward Kyle James was a star of the match, scoring all three goals for Downey Marcel's side, proving too much for the Trinity defence. The hosts eventually took the lead in the 33rd minute through midfielder Deshaun Plaza, but the advantage was short-lived. Shortly after the restart, James led a swift Signal Hill counter-attack, firing a low right-footed shot into the bottom corner to equalise. In the 41st minute, James gave Signal Hill a 2-1 lead, heading into half-time, capitalising on a rebound after Jeremy Morgan's shot was saved. Undetermined, James completed his hat-trick on the hour mark, finishing off a well-timed through pass from Jamiki Watkins to make it 3-1. Trinity, who finished ninth in the Premier Division last season, mounted a late comeback and narrowed the gap when Zahir Ramkisun converted a penalty in the 70th minute. However, they couldn't find the equaliser and Signal Hill held firm to secure three valuable points on the road. Meantime, Speedside High played to a 2 all draw at home against Malik Secondary in their opening match. Davril Thomas and Rikelme Phillips found the net for the Mantras, while Antonio City scored both goals for the visitors. Tomorrow, Signal Hill will host San Juan North Secondary in Signal Hill, while Speyside will take on St. Benedict's College in Speyside. Both games kick off at 3.30 p.m. Marcus Daniel, Tobago Update Sports. And that was the Secondary School Football League and not the Secondary School Girls Football League.